Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper with a video about Echolink and how you can communicate around the country, around the world, even if you don't own a radio but have an amateur radio license. I'm going to bring their website up here. Echolink is an internet based system that allows you to use a computer or mobile device, iPhone or Android, and the internet to control and communicate with remote base stations and repeaters around the country or around the world. And I think this is a, a good application for emergency communications. Uh, it allows you to maintain your communication skills, learn new skills, and keep practicing. It keeps you on the air, especially if you don't own a radio or you live in a location like a condo or an apartment where you can't have an antenna. If you have a computer and the internet, you can use the Echolink application. And here's a screenshot to access repeaters and base stations that are connected to the internet all around the world. And in this video demonstration, I'm over here in Moscow, Russia. I was able to use Echolink to connect to a repeater in Fancy Gap, Virginia, which was a pretty, pretty good distance away, I would say. And I got a little slide here to show you that. So from Moscow over the internet, I was able to access the repeater in Fancy Gap, Virginia, and had a QSO with a portable station, a gentleman in his garage using an ocean radio that we're all familiar with and many of us own connected to a copper J pole antenna that he built himself and it actually turns out that that gentleman and for OIT is also a fellow youtuber so I thought I'd do a quick shout out for his channel if you're interested in motorcycles uh, his channel is zip 343 so I want to say thank you to zip 343 for taking the time to work with me to make this video and having the patience why I communicated with him over Echolink so to recap before we roll into the actual QSO or contact that I had, uh, we're using the Echolink application again from Moscow through the internet to connect to a repeater in Virginia. And that repeater is in Fancy Gap, Virginia. And I'm going to go ahead and minimize this here and we'll roll into the actual QSO. Romeo 3, Charlie Uniform, calling via Echolink. Station on Echolink, this is N4, IOT. Go ahead. Uh, I believe the call sign was N4, IST. This is Romeo 3, Charlie Uniform, via Echolink. Hank in Moscow. 3, CU. I believe you said your name was Hank. This is November 4, India, Oscar Tango. Good afternoon, or would it be evening in Moscow, Russia? Go ahead. Uh, N4 IOT, this is R3CU. Yeah, it's 11.52 uh, p.m. here in Moscow, Russia, and I'm doing a little Echo Link demonstration here for my YouTube channel, and... You're my first QSO with this uh, Echolink installation. Over. Terrific. Well, you've made a connection to the uh, 147045 repeater uh, located in Fancy Gap, Virginia. Go ahead. Uh, this is R3CU via Echolink. Uh, Roger that. Uh, whereabouts in Virginia is this repeater? Uh, I'm actually from uh, Fairfax County. Over. Repeater is located in the far southwest portion of the Commonwealth of Virginia. Um, it's right close to the North Carolina Virginia state line. It's just north of uh, uh, the North Carolina state line. It's about, well, it's right there at exit 8 on Interstate 77. If you have an atlas, you can look it up there. Uh, the machine is located in Fancy Gap, Virginia. But the actual address is probably Hillsville, Virginia. Go ahead. I do appreciate it. Uh, if you don't mind, uh, just a, another question or two for uh, my YouTube video or viewers. Uh, are you mobile or portable right now working into the repeater? I'm standing in my garage. I'm on a uh, little Ushon 2-meter handheld, and I've got it connected to a... Uh, Copper J pole that I made. I have it mounted on the uh, the eave of the uh, the garage where I'm speaking from. There, go ahead. 
Uh, okay, yeah, I have uh, one of those uh, Ushan or Ocean radios myself that I just picked up, and uh, I did a few uh, YouTube videos using that working the uh, SO50 amateur radio satellite. Uh, that radio is turning out to be uh, real popular now. 3CU from N4 IoT. Yes, sir. Uh, used to be when I left the house, I made sure I had my keys, my wallet, and uh, now I make sure I have my keys, my wallet, and my radio. <laughs> I don't go anywhere without it. Uh, this little radio, uh, I usually have it in my pickup truck, and I drive a big truck for a living. I drive a gasoline tanker, and I'll take it out of the pickup and put it in a gasoline tanker, and uh, I'll talk mobile with it there. Go ahead. And for IoT, this is R3CU via Echolink for ID. Well, I do appreciate you taking the time answering my call. Like I said, uh, I'm doing this for a YouTube video for my viewers, and I'm trying to demonstrate that even if you don't own a radio, but you have a ham radio license, uh, with Echolink you can still participate and uh, practice operating on the air and develop your communication skills. Over. My time, not a problem at all. Uh, I'm glad I could be of assistance. Um, you say you have a YouTube channel, is that correct? And what would be the name of the YouTube channel? I'm going to go look it up. Uh, this is R3CU. Uh, the YouTube channel is Comms, C O M M S, Comms Prepper. Over. Prepper. I'll look that up for sure. Um, I also have a YouTube channel if you care to look at it. Uh, it's a lot of uh, motorcycle stuff. Uh, that's another one of my passions uh, besides uh, ham radio. My uh, my channel is uh, Zulu India Papa three four three. Okay, ZIP three four three is your YouTube channel, correct? You got it there, Hank. Okay, well I'll include that uh, as part of a shout out with your consent. If that's okay with you, over. Uh, that's fun. Yeah, that that'd be great. Thank you. Okay, well, I won't keep you. Uh, again, thank you for coming back to my call. And, uh, best 73s, November 4, India Oscar Tango. This is R3CU via Echolink. Hank, pleasure to have met you on the two meters. Uh, hopefully I get to hear you again sometime. Uh, wow, that's terrific. Uh, I got a big smile on my face here. But anyways, R3CU N4 IoT. Be clear, 73s. 73, sir. Well, I hope that demonstration shows you the potential of Echolink and how you can use it in emergency situations and to maintain your communication skills. I have the application up here to show you what it looks like and how you can search for repeaters in your area. Uh, there's the connections to the system are called nodes. You can have uh, conferences where it sets PC to PC uh, links and actual repeaters and users so you can also use this kind of like a chat room but for this demo we used repeaters but in total around the world there's 2126 repeaters connected to the Echolink system and then you can drill down by location so we have Africa, Asia and we'll come down here to North America and you have the countries in North America where there might be repeaters and we'll come over here to the United States and then for the United States they're broken down by area and this is call sign area so if you're from New England like Maine or Vermont your call sign will start with a one uh, New York area is a two uh, three is Maryland four starts covering Virginia and the Carolinas and as you can see, as I click on these areas, these different repeaters are coming up and users as well. So you could actually connect to these users. So if you know other amateur radio operators who don't have radios, you can actually get on Echolink and have a, a voice chat session. And then you can scroll down here and see all the different repeaters that are out there. And if you know the repeaters in your area, they may be connected to Echolink. Or you might be able to get your local radio club to connect it to Echolink. And then you can come up, come in here and connect to the systems. So this is a, a short video on Echolink. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with a video about Echolink.